Howdy guys, welcome to the Gas Chronicles episode two. It's been probably six months since I did one of these, and the last time I did one of these, I was extremely sick. Now, a few things you should point out about this video. I'm using the only camera that seems to be stable on this car mount. So it's a 2010 HD Sony camera, which I don't expect to look anywhere near as good as my regular cameras, but who knows, maybe it'll look all right. So today I'm heading out to check out a Studio Pro 112 that I saw on Gumtree. Now Gumtree is kind of like eBay here in Australia, except it's way easier to use and you just go over and pay cash for stuff. So it's nice and simple. Now this is a Silver Stripe Studio Pro 112 and I haven't used one of these before and it looks to be in mint condition. The guy was asking a hundred bucks for it, which is awesome. There's actually another one on Gumtree right now for $2.99. So I thought, you know what, I'll send this guy a message and see if I can go check it out. So he, he's allowed me to sort of co turn up and have a plug in and have a play through it and sort of see how it sounds. He basically said to me that he'll drop the price by 20 bucks if I come get it. So 80 bucks, mint condition, Studio Pro 112. I don't really need another one. I've just purchased the Red Stripe Studio Pro, but I know I'm gonna get uh, at least a video or two out of this thing. And then a friend of mine who I know will absolutely want it can buy it for the price that I paid for it. Uh, maybe extra 10 bucks for, for all the driving I'm doing. But that said, I'll make sure he gets that for the same price I paid for it and he'll be absolutely wrapped. So at least now I'll have a comparison between the Red Stripe Studio Pro and the Silver Stripe, the infamous Silver Stripe one, which will be fantastic. I should point out I don't jump on every amp that I see online, otherwise I'd be broke perpetually even more so than I am right now. But sometimes deals turn up and they're just too good to pass up. So they're the deals I like to get. I do sell it off if my friend doesn't want it, which I highly doubt. I should be able to make a few extra bucks. But that said, I'm not buying it for that purpose. I'm buying it because I think it'll be something that I'll actually get quite a bit of use out of, or my good friend will actually want it as well. So that's awesome, and I'll be right back. So I just picked up the amp. I actually paid full price for it. It was in spectacular condition. I felt kind of guilty paying only 80 bucks and it's in perfect, perfect condition. As in good a condition as the Red Stripe Studio Pro that I picked up recently as well. So it's in the back seat. I plugged in my PRS and had a quick noodle round for about 20 seconds and played some really bad licks that were uh, out of tune and all that kind of stuff. And I thought to myself, you know what? The amp sounds great. So. For what I need it for, it's gonna be a perfect little amp. So Mark, thanks so much for the deal, man. I appreciate it. And it goes to show, keeping your eye on the secondhand market can be an absolute godsend sometimes. And you can sometimes even find stuff that you don't necessarily need that you want. And this was a great example of that. I didn't need another Studio Pro, but I really love these amps. I think they're great. And like I said, for the purpose that I'm gonna be using it for, it's gonna be perfect. So. When I get home, I'll give you the quick rundown tour of the Silver Stripe Studio Pro 112. I'm absolutely wrapped. I scored this, especially for hundred bucks, but the fact is it's in great condition. I don't like buying a lot of amps that are damaged and you know have problems. It looks like it, all it really needs is a couple of contact spray squirts on a couple of the pots and we should be in business. I don't think it'll be any more than that. So yeah, it's a very tidy amp, Mark. Thanks again. And yeah, let's check it out. All right, here we are, I'm back home, and this is the amp. So that's the clean channel over here. We have a bright switch. We can swap between the channels. And then we have a thrash channel, which I'll be using all the time for playing my blues. No, just kidding. Uh, the gain channel is really cool. This one here is your actual preamp. And that one right there is your master volume. So that channel is pretty cool. I had a quick play. I need to definitely spray some of these pots. Um, but otherwise it's in pretty tidy condition. The Tolex looks great. Let's have a look at the back of the speaker here. So it's got the same speaker that the Red Stripe one's got that I've got, just the Blue Marvel, which are really cool. And uh, there we go. We can load up an external speaker as well if we choose to. It's got the switch option here for your foot switch. And yeah, it looks in pretty good condition. Now, the only thing that's a bit weird is on the power cable, this is loose. So I have a feeling the power cable might have been replaced. Hopefully that was all. I might open it up and just have a look. But overall, it's in exceptional condition. Um, 
yeah, original speaker, and it sounds great. So uh, there it is, PV made in the USA. Awesome stuff. Demo will follow. Mm-hmm.